Hello everyone, welcome to Foresights with me Anjali. You are watching the top news for the day. In Thailand, voting for parliament for a new prime minister is underway and it looks like the move forward party leader Pita Lim Jarainrat is running unopposed. The 42-year-old U.S. educated liberal candidate for prime ministerial elections in Thailand faces a critical test of his political clout. He requires over half of the 749 member bicameral parliament to win the elections. Many lawmakers are, however, opposed to his party's anti-establishment agenda, including a controversial plan to amend the law that prohibits insults of the monarchy. He is at odds with the powerful nexus of conservatives and old moneyed families. The voting is underway for Thailand's parliament. A Russian general revealed that the top military brass betrayed the on-ground soldiers fighting in Ukraine. A voice note of Major General Ivan Popov, who commanded Russia's 58th Combined Arms Army, revealed that he had been dismissed as a commander after telling the military leadership about the dire situation at the front in Ukraine. The Ukrainian army could not break our backs, but our senior chief hit us from the rear, he said, and referred to the lack of proper counter artillery systems, among other things that the Russian army is grappling with. UNHRC passes resolution against desecration of Quran. India is among the supporters of the resolution brought by Pakistan and adopted by 47 member UN Human Rights Council. The United Nations Human Rights Council passed a resolution brought by Pakistan that strongly rejects and condemns the recent acts of desecration of the Quran in Sweden. The resolution garnered support from 28 countries while 12 nations voted against it and 7 countries abstained. India's Defence Ministry gives initial nod to buy 26 rifles and 3 submarines from France. PM Modi on his France trip is expected to announce the same. As per sources, India's Defence Ministry gave its initial approval to buy 26 Rafale fighter aircraft and three Scorpion-class conventional submarines from France. The proposals were sent to Defence Acquisition Council for approval and Government Cabinet before approval. PM Modi will make the formal announcement of the deal when in France. He will be the guest of honour at the Bastille Day Parade on July 14. Britain economy shrank by less than expected and the economy does look like it is on a course to avoid quarter two contraction. UK economy may dodge recession for now. In UK, the economic output fell by 0.1% in May from April and this is after a growth of 0.2% in the previous month. While the economists expected to see a larger fall especially with the strikes and extra bank holidays to mark King Charles' coronation weighing on the growth, the economy is instead on track to expand marginally. Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt said that the high inflation continues to hamper economy but their plan to bring it down will work. We must stick to it, he added. At Wimbledon, Spanish player Alcaraz enters semi-final after defeating Holker Rion. After the US Open title is on a pursuit of a second Grand Slam title at Wimbledon, he storms into the semi-final after defeating a Danish player Walker Rune. He will be competing with Daniel Medvedev in the semis. He calls a complete player and an octopus. They have a history at Wimbledon. He lost to Daniel back in 2021 when he was still on 75 in ATP rankings. Since then, Alcaraz has come a long way. Thank you for watching Foresights with me, Anjali. See you all again with latest updates.